Check this out, y'all. We are back at the wedding barn today, and we are we just raised up this first timber frame bent. It is huge. It weighs about 3,000 pounds. Um, fortunately, we have this telehandler with a shackle, chain, some slings. We're able to lift it up, kind of pivot it off the saw horses, and drop it right onto those steel knife plates I was showing you earlier. Um, it actually fit like a glove because we gave it a little bit of wiggle room. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Right now we're working on bracing this sucker off because if we get any wind, and we get a lot of wind up here on the hill, this 3,000 pound vent could come crashing down. And uh, well, I'm a little bit worried right now um, because we've got a whole bunch of rain um, that is part of a tropical storm. 10 to 15 mile an hour winds here in the Piedmont usually means about 100 mile an hour winds up here on the hill because um, it's always blowing like 15, 20 miles an hour up here. Um, so what we've done real quick, I wanna, just wanna show you some of our strategies on bracing this thing off because we're 20 feet high to the top beam on this thing. We got two 20 foot two by sixes with a six inch lap nailed together and run as far out on a 45 degree angle as we can to the ground resting this heel is sitting on the ground right here and we've got a couple of foundation pins actually one on each side Mike's screwing in as many screws as we can get through that foundation rod into the heel of this 2 by 6 brace and as you can see it's actually kicked into the dirt so we're not just relying completely on those screws and the foundation. It's really important that we put those foundation pins as far out. We don't want to put them, you know, way up the length of that that uh, two by six. Otherwise, the leverage is just going to kick it down. Um, furthermore, we've got you can see on that first side that we plumbed up, we've got some some braces coming back, kind of this way, um, because you know, 25, 30 feet of two by six spliced together is a bit wobbly and we don't want that to fail um, should there come a big wind. And actually, I can see some rain rolling in right now behind us. So we're gonna try to get this thing going. Um, and you still got that plumb bob up there? Yeah. Ben, can you show me uh, what we're looking like in terms of plumb with the measurement? So right now, Blada's got a, a block up top with a string and a plumb bob all the way down. And it looks like we should be an inch and a half, and we are within an eighth. And within an eighth on a 20 foot timber frame is gonna be good for right now. Um, I'd actually be satisfied with that um, in the end but we still have a little bit of room in the, uh, when we set this next bent and tie it in with a six by 12 to get that thing totally plumb, which is gonna make our life easier when we go to frame this thing. So anyway, we're making sure that this thing is fully braced off because we don't want 3,000 pounds crashing down on that slab. Um, and I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, if so, smash that like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel because we're gonna be following this whole process here framing a giant 8,000 square foot wedding barn in beautiful Alamance County, North Carolina. And um, thanks for watching as always, y'all. Until the next one, peace out.